The family computer disk system Japanese, Famiri Computer Disuku Shisutemu Hepburn, Famiri Computer Disuku Shisutemu is a peripheral for Nintendo's family computer home video game console, released only in Japan on February 21, 1986. It uses proprietary floppy disks called, "...disk cards", for data storage. Through its entire production span, 1986-1986-2003-2003, million units were sold. Its name is sometimes shortened as the Famicom Disk System, Famicom Dasukushisutemu, Famicom Dasukushisutemu, or simply the Disk System, Dasukushisutemu, Dasukushisutemu, and abbreviated as the FDS or FCD. The device is connected to the Famicom deck by plugging a special cartridge known as the RAM adapter into the system's cartridge port, and attaching that cartridge's cable to the disk drive. The RAM adapter contains 32 KB of RAM for temporary program storage, 8 KB of RAM for tile and sprite data storage, and an ASIC known as the 2C33. The ASIC acts as a disk controller for the floppy drive, and also includes additional sound hardware featuring a single-cycle wavetable lookup synthesizer. Finally, embedded in the 2C33 is an 8KB BIOS ROM. The disk cards used are double-sided, with a total capacity of 112KB per disk. Many games span both sides of a disk, requiring the user to switch sides at some point during gameplay. A few games use two full disks, totaling four sides. The disk system is capable of running on six C-cell batteries or the supplied AC adapter. Batteries usually last five months with daily game play. The inclusion of a battery option is due to the likelihood of a standard set of AC plugs already being occupied by a Famicom and a television. History In 1983, the disk's 112 kilobytes of storage space was quite appealing due to the high cost of cartridge-based solid-state storage chips. The rewritable aspect of the disks also opened up new possibilities. Games such as The Legend of Zelda, Metroid, and Kid Icarus were released to the FDS with a save feature. Many of these titles were subsequently ported to cartridge format and released for the NES a year or two later, with saving implemented either via password resume or battery-backed memory. <laughs> Hardware versions Sharp released the twin Famicom, Soonfamicon Soonfamicon, a Famicom model that features a built-in disk system. Topic. Disk writer and disk fax kiosks Widespread copyright violation in Japan's predominantly personal computer-based game rental market inspired corporations to petition the government to ban the rental of all video games in 1984. With games then being available only via full purchase, demand rose for a new and less expensive way to access more games. In 1986, as video gaming had increasingly expanded from computers into the video game console market, Nintendo installed Famicom Disk Writer kiosks in game stores across Japan. For a rental fee of 500 yen, then about $3.25 as opposed to the 2600 yen, then about $17 cost of new games, these stations allowed users to copy new games to their discs for an unlimited time. Some game releases were exclusive to these kiosks. Calling the disc writer, "...one of the coolest things Nintendo ever created," Kotaku says the system's premise still offers modern retail and online stores a potential innovation in game rentals. The service was very popular and remained available until 2003. Disc writer kiosks in select locations were also provisioned as disc fax systems. Players could take advantage of the dynamic rewritability of blue floppy disk versions of disk system games such as Famicom Grand Prix F1 Race in order to achieve and save their high scores at their leisure at home. The player could then bring the disk to a retailer's disk fax kiosk which collated and transmitted the player's scores via facsimile to Nintendo. Players participated in a nationwide leaderboard with prizes. Topic Technology 
The disk system's disk cards are somewhat proprietary 71 mm x 76 mm 2.8 times 3 in 56K per side double-sided floppy. These disk cards, as they are officially called, were a slight modification of Mitsumi's quick disk. 89 mm 2.8 in square disk format which is used in a handful of Japanese computers and various synthesizer keyboards along with a few word processors some of the quick disk drives even made it into devices in Europe and North America though they are somewhat rare Mitsumi already had close relations with Nintendo as it manufactured the Famicom and NES consoles and possibly other Nintendo hardware Topic. Startup screen Nintendo's flagship mascot brothers Mario and Luigi make an appearance in the FDS's boot firmware. After turning on the system, a «battle» between the two characters begins over the color scheme of the Nintendo sign and screen border, until a disc is inserted into the FDS. Topic. Reliability. While the disk system was years ahead of its time in terms of a disk format game console, the drive and disks both have reliability issues. The drive belt in the drive is a proprietary size, since standard floppy drive belts are too large. Until 2004, Japanese residents were able to send their systems to Nintendo directly for repairs and belt replacements, but Nintendo of America and the PAL regions do not service them as the system was not released in those regions. Due to a flaw in manufacturing, the old belts have a tendency to break, decompose, or occasionally melt. In an effort to save money on production, Nintendo opted to not use disc shutters a feature seen on 89mm floppy disks to keep dirt out, instead opting to include wax paper sleeves as with the older 133mm discs. The only exception to this were certain games that were specially released on blue discs, which do have shutters. Error messages produced during disk read operations are unusually simple, to the point where it is difficult to know what the exact problem is. Most in-game error messages during loading are often displayed as er, hash hash, with hash hash being the designated number for the type of error message, the most common ones are er. O2 the disk system's batteries being low on power or with no batteries put in altogether, er. 07 side A and B reversed when trying to load the disc, and er, 27 disc trouble, usually involving the disc surface itself, but can also be due to a belt replacement from an inexperienced technician, resulting in the disc drive's head being inaccurately aligned. However, the error messages themselves consist of little explanation er, 27, for example, only gives the accompanying message, disc trouble. And in most cases within gameplay itself, such as Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, the error message is not given at all, with only the number code shown. <laughs> <laughs> Games Square Co. Ltd. had a branch at one point called Disk Original Group, a software label that published disk system titles from Japanese PC software companies. The venture was largely a failure and almost pushed a pre-Final Fantasy Square into bankruptcy. Final Fantasy was to be released for the FDS, but a disagreement over Nintendo's copyright policies caused Square to change its position and release the game as a cartridge. Nintendo released a disc version of Super Mario Bros. in addition to the cartridge version. The Western market Super Mario Bros. 2 originated from a disc-only game called Yumi Kojo, Doki Doki Panic. Topic. Launch titles Baseball Golf Mahjong Soccer Super Mario Bros. Tennis The Legend of Zelda Topic. Contest Nintendo held game score contests for certain games that were released on blue-colored disc cards. Some of the prizes to these contests included two gold prize discs, one for the game Golf US Course, and one for Golf Japan Course not to be confused with the title simply called Golf. These two gold discs have metal shutters on them, like the aforementioned blue disc cards. 
Nintendo awarded other prizes including a stationary set, and a gold cartridge version of the Punch-Out! for the family computer. In the gold version of Punch-Out!, the final opponent is Super Macho Man, before Nintendo used Mike Tyson and Mr. Dream instead in later NES versions. <laughs> Legacy Many years after the FDS was released, the system and its disc Kuhn mascot would be recognized by Nintendo and others. In the GameCube video game Super Smash Bros. Melee, switching the language to Japanese via the options menu would also result in the Trophy Gallery's Nintendo Entertainment System and Super NES being replaced with a Family Computer and Super Famicom, respectively. Additionally, disc Kuhn could be unlocked as a trophy via accessing all bonus scores. The background music to the Nintendo GameCube's main console menu is actually the jingle to the FDS Boot Up screen slowed down 16 times. The FDS Boot Up theme is briefly played in Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door when Princess Peach inserts a floppy disk into Sir Grotus's computer during the fifth chapter's interlude. Disk Kuhn appears in Super Mario Maker as an unlockable mystery mushroom costume via an update. See also Super NES CD-ROM Nintendo 64DD